Our union has a proud history and is forged in tradition that we are all privileged to carry on. The past few years have been amongst the most exciting and the most challenging in our 70 plus years. We've come through a lot, we've accomplished a lot, and we have much more to do. Through it all, in good times and bad times, we have proven over and over again that we are stronger together. Together we've done important work to help our members and their families. We've weathered some of the toughest economic times in history, bargaining decent contracts and working to help save jobs, including tens of thousands that supply parts for the resurging auto industry. Well, at Dana, we build axles. In 2007-2008, we had uh, approximately 250 laid off at the time. We were down to about 115 people. But right now, all I know is the automobile industry is doing good. When you invest into um, an American worker there, you're going to get your investment back. Like I said, we're back to work. We're hiring. Um, it's very special. We needed that. <laughs> we needed that a lot. People like President Obama uh, and Leo are up there fighting for us, and, and that makes you real happy because normally you don't feel that. You don't feel people are fighting for us because we're just sort of workers. We've helped fight for important legislation, and we've helped fight to enforce our trade laws in both our countries. We've saved lives, and we've saved jobs in both the U.S. and Canada. Although we've succeeded in laws like the Westray Bill, we continue the fight to make sure that the Westray Bill gets enforced. We insist that those that disregard health and safety face charges and possibly even go to jail. The United Steel Workers are doing something that other unions and or politicians and other, other people should be doing. What they're trying to do and what they are doing is educating people to the fact that perhaps a thousand people, workers, workers are people. They're dying every year, a thousand people a year in, in Canada and not one criminal conviction. If companies were held criminally accountable for their actions, this incident would never have happened. People would have taken more responsibility to make those changes if, if they knew that their lives were on the line as well. You know, if they knew that they could go to jail as opposed to their company with these deep pockets simply paying a fine, that means nothing to them. Having this fight allows us to channel our energy and try and make something good come out of it. We can't bring them back and we don't want my dad, her husband, to die in vain. And laws like the Affordable Care Act in the United States, laws that mean steelworker families will no longer have to worry about a loved one being kicked off their insurance when they get sick. People like Travis Turner, who has thrown off his dad's health insurance while battling cancer as an infant. The million dollars seems like a lot of money, you know, to, that you would never think you'd exceed that in a lifetime, but my son exceeded that in three months. You know, you think you're working, you're paying for insurance you're gonna be covered. They just got an illness that they couldn't help. Craig being a part of a union, it's like another fail. You know they have your back and that they're fighting for your rights. Thanks to health care reform through the Affordable Care Act, Travis's benefits have been restored. That could not have happened without the Affordable Care Act, which we strongly endorsed. We have stood in solidarity one day longer against multinational corporations that continue to try and break us. Companies like Cooper Tire, Valley, and Rio Tinto. And we never back down from attempts across our two countries where they attempt to strip us of our fundamental rights. You picked the wrong union, you picked the wrong town. Solidarity, brothers. <laughs> Over the past few years, we've become a more sophisticated, technology-driven union who's reaching out to the next generation, the next generation of future leaders in our union. We have not only pounded the pavement, but we've used some of the most sophisticated campaign mechanisms to fight to elect those that stand with us and share our values. We have led the way fighting against voter suppression and fighting to protect voting rights, civil rights, and women's rights. Our union is a fighting union. We fight every day at the bargaining table. We fight wherever it needs to take place, whether it's in boardrooms, legislative arena, or in capitol buildings, or on the shop floor. 
We do all this for our members, but we also do it for the future. The future for our kids and our grandkids. We don't always agree, but at the end of the day, we come together. We come together to stand up for our members, stand up for our communities, stand up for our values. Our union has known forever that our strength comes from our membership and that our membership gives us the strength to move forward. Let us never forget that. Solidarity forever.